So the Tab S8 Ultra. It's been out for a few weeks now and I know I'm quite late to the party but I just spent some time with it and five things really stood out. Let's talk about it. Firstly, you can really multitask on this thing. You can open up a three-way app split, easily place them around in different ways for whatever it is that you're trying to do. For example, here I'm watching a video, making notes while I'm on a call with a colleague for a discussion and while doing all of that, I can open up a calendar to discuss deadlines. And then you add the S Pen to this productivity mix. I use it for taking notes, I use it for various screen recording sessions where I have to highlight stuff or just, you know, quickly make a tutorial for a colleague. Uh, I use it for often taking quick snippets of things and saving them for later use or sharing them or just pasting them in my notes. And honestly, the way ideas flow is very different and creative when you've got the S Pen in your hand and the way it writes on the surface of this tablet, it's crazy good. The best part is that the S Pen comes included for the price of the tablet. But there are two minor things about the S Pen. I really wish if Samsung could make this design a bit more heavier and denser, I really think that would elevate the writing experience. And it's a bit of a hassle to store if you don't have a dedicated space to keep it like I do with the Samsung keyboard cover. And so even if you don't get this keyboard cover, I do suggest that you get yourself a case for protection and to be able to store the S Pen. Coming to the second one, Samsung has really leveled up its front camera and it really lets you present yourself in very good quality, both in the way you look and the way you sound. And given how many video calls happen nowadays, I really think it's a must have feature. And it's actually a shame that more and more laptops don't already have this. There's also auto framing now that automatically positions you or anyone else in the frame to adjust things perfectly. But honestly, I don't use it most of the times because mostly it's just me in the camera and the camera is so well centered, bang in the middle where it should be. And thank you Samsung for not putting it on the side. Now, the next thing that really sets this tablet apart is that it's got a soul of a laptop with Samsung DeX. It's like the Windows equivalent, but for an Android tablet. And just like Windows, you get multiple apps opened up. Uh, you can shuffle between them and just use it as you would normally use any laptop. You could fire up Excel, PowerPoint and Word and work across documents and presentations. One of the things that I find really useful is that I could be watching a video in the background and right on top of that, I could be taking down notes as I watch the video. And by the way, I can connect an external display using a Type-C to HDMI cable and run Samsung DeX on an even larger screen and just make more use of that real estate. And I don't necessarily need cables. I could connect Samsung DeX to any wireless monitor or TV that's around me to project stuff. Next, it's an excellent secondary display that's portable and touch enabled. You could hook it up to any Windows PC or laptop as long as you're on the same Wi-Fi network and just use it as a duplicate display or an extended display. I mean, if you just went to the market to look for a touch enabled secondary portable display of this size, it's going to be really expensive, but the Tab S8 Ultra is already that. Sure, because it uses Bluetooth and Wi-Fi to ensure seamless wireless operation, there is a bit of a lag, but it shouldn't really impact regular mundane work. And lastly, this tablet is out of the world for watching stuff or consuming any kind of media. To begin with, this tablet's display beats any other tablet that exists today. The first time I held it, it almost felt like I was holding the world in my hands. And what amazes me is that it's this thin, freaking lightweight thing. And you know, it's a real surreal feeling that a tablet this size can feel and weigh so less. And then the quad speakers on this thing, which by the way are tuned by AKG, are really good. Uh, just listen to this stuff. Also, it's an HDR10 Plus display, so you're able to view all HDR compatible content, which looks super on this big screen. The colors, as you'd expect from an AMOLED display, are simply amazing. And the screen is clearly plenty bright for outdoor viewing. And my feelings about the display is pretty much the same, even from a gaming standpoint. I was playing Asphalt 9 on this tablet, and it was nothing short of crazy. I've never played Asphalt 9 this close and this big. And it really felt like I was in the game. Now, by the way, this has 24% improved CPU and 52% improved GPU performance. So you're getting enough power to play the most challenging games on Android that there are. 
The only thing to keep in mind about this display is that you're going to want to use a kickstand and place this tablet on some surface for longer use. I mean, it is a big tablet for you to be holding for too long. So yeah, you know, productivity, video calling, Samsung Dex, second screen and media consumption are really things that puts this device in a class of its own. It's not a traditional tablet because, you know, they don't do these things or they don't do it as well as this does. But it's also not a fully functional laptop because it lacks the app support system that you get in Windows. It's really a device in its own class. It's a luxury product and you will buy it because you want the most badass Android tablet with the most stunning display that any tablet has ever had. And you know, frankly, it is out of the box products like these that challenge the blurring lines between different kinds of products. And it really pushes the envelope, forcing other companies to level up their game and bring us these crazy new devices. So thank you, Samsung, for making it and bringing it to us. Anyway, that's pretty much it on the Tab S8 Ultra that I wanted to share with you, especially given that it's pretty late to be talking about it. But hey, I'll be doing more videos. Um, one, especially talking about all the extra cool things that you can do with the Tab S8 Ultra. And I'll also try to use it as a laptop replacement and see if that really works out. And I'll put a dedicated video on that as well. So you do want to subscribe and push that notification bell icon and mark all so you don't miss that video. And if you guys have any questions on the Tab S8 Ultra or the Tab S8 and the S8 Plus, make sure you put them in the comments section and I'll surely answer them. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one.